Whether it is a toy or a medical device, 3D printers are capable of creating almost anything. Well, they become increasingly important in manufacturing and many other industries due to their versatility. By one estimate, 3D printing is now a $5 billion industry, and the sector is growing at 26% a year. Timothy McDonald recently visited a 3D printing convention here in Singapore. Well, there's lots of excitement around 3D printing. It's supposed to be the next big thing in medicine, manufacturing and design. But does it really live up to the hype? Is it good for something more than printing out simple toys like this one? Well, for more, we're speaking with Andrew Chu from the Hong Kong 3D Printing Technology Association. Hi, Hi Andrew. Hi. Uh, Andrew, what can you tell us about this printer here? It's a simple DIY model. This is uh, one of the models that we have that allow kids to assemble their own unit from components and they can learn about the whole operating principle of a 3D printer but the machine is capable of actually printing a whole mechanical parts okay the screw the nut and the whole platform uh, as a single pass and then we also are printing our uh, building blocks that with the screw and nuts all built in so uh, we have printed many of these and form a whole chair now there are very clear medical applications. A surgeon, for example, could print an entire copy of a patient's heart before putting them under the knife. And well, the manufacturing applications are pretty clear too. Although there are some limitations. As you can see, the layer by layer approach tends to leave quite a rough surface. Now, one company believes it might have a solution to this problem. I'm joined by Avi Cohen from XJet. Avi, great Thank to meet you. you. Avi, I understand your printer is a little bit different from most other 3D printers. How does it work exactly and what's the difference? That's correct. XJET has developed a way uh, to jet metal in a nanoparticle level. So we are grinding the metal into nanoparticles and jetting. The difference is that in a regular uh, printer, you get a very roughy surface due to the big particle size. And here we are dealing with single uh, nanoparticles. You get a very smooth surface, very accurate and fine details. Thanks, Avi. Well, there's obviously a great deal of excitement around 3D printing technology, and time will tell if it will fulfill its promise. Timothy McDonald, BBC News, Singapore. Interesting innovation there in 3D technology. Before we go, here's a